Break in line. That's what we're looking for right there, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. See the big crack you just caused? No, that was already there. Just that's the one behind you. Yeah. See it? It goes right across that's to you. That's the one that was already there. First flag of the morning. Still setting up. Well, we're out chasing lake trout again. We're on the edge of a nice shelf here and we're hoping to get into a couple nice fish. Well, I got a flag. Took some line out. Yeah. Right now it feels like some weight to it too. We did take some line. Holy. Oh, that's a good uh, one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, we get him for you. Go right ahead. He's not done yet. Yeah, I'm just clearing that nice out. Off. No, it just goes black after a little bit. Oh, oops. You got better angle to get the fish on that side. Like it. It's full of Trying to force me. No, 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 no. Just let him go, just let him go. Okay, it's all right there. Yeah. Yes. Quite ready. Just give him a fish on that side. You pull. There we go. That's a nice one. That's what we're looking for right there, huh? Yes, sir. I don't think we need to measure this one, huh? That's pretty close to 30. Pretty close, 28, 29. 29. Yeah, 28, 29. Help, help yeah, one more time here and then we'll let him go. It's cold out this morning. We don't want to mess yeah. him up. There he goes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who caught the first fish this morning and broke his three day streak of not catching anything at all? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one on the tripod. That's another nice one. Of course it is. It didn't take quite as much line as the last one did. Whoop. Whoop. Not by any means. Pay attention before you lose them. Another nice one. Yep. Got it. Take a quick picture and then put him back in the hole there because it's cold out today. Probably 28. Uh, 20. Head back that way. There you go. Let's get him back in. There he goes, he's ready. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. 
Eric's got a flag now. They looks like we're in for a good day. Oh, my first flag of the day. Take in line. Get him? Yeah. Not very big though. Not very big at all. Just threw it. Lassoed the camera. So as soon as I touch the fish, I think that's a quick release. Well, we might let that one slide. <laughs> oh, oh, now we got three traps we gotta reset. I got one I gotta put a hook on and Eric's going to rebait this one, and I got another one to rebait. He's, he's looking right at it. Mine? You? Yeah, yours. yours. Just let it sit That's just a small one. Just let it sit still. I'll lift it up and I swim away. He's going to hit it. Oh, left it. You ready to take this camera? Don't move. Do you see him? Mm. He's right on my fit. He was right on it. Here we go. What's that? What's happening? Not much is going on. Yeah. Just scared the fish off. He was headed right for your trap. Get some weight. It's a nice lake trout, about the same size as yours. That other rod hasn't tipped yet, has it? Nope. We probably just tap that one first. Yeah. as big as I thought. He's wide. He's probably the one we were just messing with. Give me one, I'll pick you up. Yeah, I do believe this is the one we just tried to get in our hole. He's uh, about 22, 23 maybe. Nice and healthy. Oh. Go right back. Yeah, we're supposed to go check the other one. Yeah. It ain't moving. Two flags back to back. Got me hung up. Get it? Yep. Did you hung up on the ice or something? I think so. On the edge of the ice. Is there anything on it besides the bait? Uh, I think it's just the bait. 
So we've had a bunch of questions on how these traps work and I figured I'd show you guys just how I go about using them. First off, this is a 2.0 and uh, I add insulation along with it, but the company has now added their own insulation behind this plastic plate. Now it's my 1.0s, they don't have insulation. So I've actually cut out the insert right here. So it matches the hole. And I think I hurt myself by doing that because the bigger the hole, the easier the wind and snow can get in to freeze it up. But anyways, I put that in there and now I leave it like that so it's tighter. I purchased separate rod holders because these are just flimsy enough. They won't handle full size reels and 40 inch rods. You slide your line through there. I put my fingers underneath the line, turn up, and then I grab the bottom line and I pull tight. And then you just take that slip loop, you put it on there like that, you put it there for the first setting, it depends on bait size. And when the fish pulls that, that comes off, and when you set the hook, that knot's gone. So one more time, two fingers under the line, roll up, and grab the bottom line. All the action we had happened between 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning. After that, for whatever reason, the fish just stopped biting. We had a few Lakers check out the jigs, but uh, no takers. And we did have a couple of hit and run flags, but no fish. We appreciate you watching. Until next time.